Howdy everybody, I'm Sam Feifel here at SPAR Europe in The Hague and I'm here with uh, Matt McCarter and Matt, what do you do? How do you interact with 3D? Uh, hi, I work for the London Underground Land Survey team uh, where we've been managing and um, collecting point clouds for around four years now. Um, we have a huge amount of data that we've collected in that time and uh, someone somewhere has to um, manage and facilitate the distribution of that to our users across the business and uh, that comes under our team and myself. Gotcha. So obviously you're working with data all the time. You know, what, what are some sort of trends or you know, some things that you notice here at the show that kind of makes you think about how you're going to do your job on a daily basis? I think the trends now are that um, all the different ven uh, uh, the hardware vendors, um, they've, they've all got a purpose, but I think ultimately when you think about it, the data that is generated from it is a registered point cloud and it, you know, overall the spacing is more or less the same. So there's not any great difference now between the vendors, I don't think, um, when you look at the big picture. But I think um, the trends that we've been talking about um, with other peers in, from other companies is that we're in agreement that point clouds are moving forward. Um, they're going to be leveraged within, uh, natively within CAD applications. Um, so it's not going to be a, a niche domain of land survey users. Um, we're hopeful it's going to move out into other disciplines. Um, and how, how you can access that, how can you be aware that point clouds exist uh, for a certain asset. Um, and we're thinking, you know, GIS interaction, um, things like that, just somehow making users in the business aware of what's there. A lot of the software early on in the industry has been sort of a big picture. You know, they help you manage point clouds and they sort of try to get it somewhere else. Do you, do you see it getting to the point where it's more sort of vertically oriented and there's more software that's designed for what you actually do rather than you having to figure out how to use the software for what you actually do? I think at the moment um, that is currently still the big hurdle. Um, that, as I said, the hardware vendors and point clouds, no matter what format it is, it's essentially the same or you can convert it to an a industry standard exchange format or something. Um, but then all the different software that you need to arrive at your decision. There's still so many different steps and conversions that you have to do. And um, you know, the, the big buzzword is interoperability. Uh, and I think um, that we still have a big way to go on that as an industry. Sure. Well, we'll see if we can work on that. Hopefully by uh, next bar, we'll be able to interoperate a little bit more. Thanks for being Absolutely. here today, Matt. Appreciate it. Thank you, Sam. And uh, thanks all of you for watching.